My project supervisor told me that to do science you have to be curious. It takes so many attempts to get anything right, it's quite a slow process that you just have to really want to find out. Developmental biology is one of those things where I think a lot of people have a hard time putting their finger on what it is. It actually is really simple. It's a question of how does every animal or plant or organism go from a single cell to a co the complex creature that we wind up seeing with many different cell types and different parts. A chemistry teacher at my school's daughter did this course and came and gave a presentation to us and it just fascinated me. We can now sequence huge amounts of DNA very rapidly, whereas it took us many years to do the human genome, for example. Um, we can do a, a genome of a new animal in weeks. Developmental biology at Manchester is taught um, in a lot like many of the other programs. It's a mixture between lectures and lab. You learn the theory in the lectures and then you go and practice what they teach you in the laboratory. So the differences between the first and the second and the third year of study wind up really being a slow progression from more course-based, classroom-based learning into absolutely hands-on in the laboratory research. And in the final year project, you'll basically get your opportunity to go into a laboratory and be a developmental biologist for six months. For my third year project, I'm studying the role of a gene in metabolism that we think is important in regeneration. We have virtually every form a facility that you can imagine. We have a fly facilities, we have mouse facilities, we have frog facilities, we have fish facilities. I chose Manchester because I came to the open day and it wasn't where I thought I'd go initially but I just loved it and the facilities were so fantastic compared to everywhere else that it was a no-brainer. <laughs> they let you do some really cool science, they don't just give you like shoddy experiments to do, you get to do some really cool research. So the developmental biology program has traditionally had a relatively small course size. Being a small course you get to know all the researchers in the department so um, it's brilliant because they all get to know you they tell you about their research and you can really approach them for help. They tend to be taught together and they tend to actually go through the entire program as a cohort who help each other they share notes they look out for each other. When I finish my degree I'm hoping to be a science teacher I start my training in September. There are companies out there that are involved in uh, business management and uh, business consultancy, which actually seek out people who are get, get degrees in, in fields like developmental biology solely for their problem-solving skills. I've really loved my time in Manchester, yeah, more than I thought I would, because it's been such hard work, but I have genuinely really enjoyed it.